Hi everybody. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you to make this little cat. This is what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna make mine exactly like this. For this little guy, you're going to need your body color, a contrast color, and this band count is for the little toy ball, which I show you at the end. You're gonna need something for the eyes. I'm using a 7.6 millimeter. You can use beads, you can use rubber bands, but I also like to point out that I am going to use two guiding bands for the eyes just to find the proper placement and then cutting it off with a pair of scissors. You can change the color at any point in time, giving it a bit more contrast, like for the tail here. I'm only going to do the last row with white. If you want to do the last two rows or the last three rows, it's completely up to you. For the collar, I decided at the end to show you how to make it. Um, you're going to need 12 bands, color of your choice, a small bell, or a bead. So I am going to get started, and I do hope you enjoy. We're going to be creating the back legs. And I'm going to start off with doing six single crochets in the magic ring. And I'm using the white color. I'm going to take my first band and wrap it around the bottom peg three times. One, two, and three. Now you're going to pull six bands through one at a time. So reaching in, grabbing your first band and bring it through and put the other end on your hook and top loop over. Bring it to the side, go back in, bring your second band through on your hook and now your top two loops over. And you're just going to continue. You're going to have to make two. Um, I'm going to show you how to do one. I failed to mention that part. <laughs> you want to attach your stitch marker to this band that's around your hook. Remove it off the loom. Move your bands around and you should have six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six is on your hook. For round two, I'm still using the white color and I'm going to do a single crochet followed by two increases, followed by three single crochets. So let's go in the first chain with one band. Now in the next two chains, you want to do an increase, so adding two bands in, those, in both of those chains. Back in. The next chain with two, one at a time. Back in. And you should have three chains left. Add one band in each. I lost my stitch marker. You should have eight stitches. You want to remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For rounds three and four, you're just going to add one band to each chain. One, 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 all the way around until you get to the stitch marker. Each pile I have eight bands, so at the end you should have eight stitches. So I'm going to go in my first chain and I'm changing the color, so I'm going to start off with a slip stitch. And then just going around with one band in each. You can remove your stitch marker and continue with round four. Make sure you don't go in your little slip knot, go in your first chain. And continue until you get to the stitch marker. Don't do a slip knot, we still have um, one more step to do right after this. Okay. 
You should still have eight stitches. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. Now for round five, I'm gonna do four single crochets. So just one band in the next four chains here. One, two, three, and four. My last band, I'm gonna do a slip knot to tie it closed. So I'm just, I'm not doing a complete round. I'm just gonna do half a round. So go in your first chain. And you're just crocheting the right way here. One, chain two, chain three, and chain four. I'm gonna do a slip knot. Give it a tuck. And you can remove the stitch marker. You don't need it anymore. Don't add stuffing. I'm not gonna be adding stuffing. I'm just gonna leave it flat. So I have nothing inside of here. So you wanna make sure you make another one. Round one, we're gonna start off with five single crochets in the magic ring, and I'm using the gray color for the body. I'm gonna take my first band and wrap it around the bottom peg three times. One, two, and three. Now I'm gonna pull five bands through, one at a time. So I'm gonna reach in, bring my first band through, put the end on my hook, and bring the top loop over. Bring it to the side, and go back in for your second, bring through on your hook and bring the top two loops over. And you're just gonna continue like that. Going in, bringing your band through, and on your hook and top two loops over. And attach your stitch marker to the band that's around your hook and remove off the loom. You should have five stitches. Move your bands around. One, two, three, four, and five is on your hook. For round two, we're gonna increase on each stitch around. So adding two bands to each chain. Two, 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 and two. At the end of round two, you're gonna have 10 stitches. So you're just going to go on your first chain, bring two bands through one at a time, and you're just increasing. Back in. Now your next chain with two. Continue this until you get to your stitch marker. So again, you should have 10 stitches, remove your stitch marker, and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round three, we're gonna increase to 15 stitches. So the pattern is one single crochet followed by an increase. One, two, one, two. You're repeating this five times all the way till you get to the stitch marker. So you're gonna go in your first chain, not where it's getting pulled, and just bring one band through. Chain two, you're doing an increase, so you're adding two bands, one at a time. And repeat, one, two. And continue until you get to the stitch marker.
Again, you should have 15 stitches. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round four, we're going to increase to 20 stitches. So the pattern is going to be two single crochets followed by an increase. One, one, increase. One, one, increase. You're going to repeat this pattern five times. And at the end, you'll have 20 stitches. So let's go in our first two chains with one band in each. In your third chain, you're adding two bands, one at a time. So just on every third stitch, add two bands. And continue, one, one, two. Follow the layout until you get to the stitch marker. You should have 20 stitches, remove your stitch marker, and add it to the band that's around your hook. For rounds 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, you're going to do 20 single crochets. So each pile, I have 20 bands, so you're just adding one band to each chain. One, 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 all the way around. I'm going to do part of round five with you and then you're going to pause the video and come back to me when you've completed the rest of the rounds. So I'm going to go in the first chain, not where it's getting pulled, and just bringing one band through. You're just going through each chain until you get to the stitch marker. I like to leave my stitch markers on and uh, I've said that numerous amount of times. Um, just and I'll just add a new stitch marker for each round so I can go back and count and make sure that I did enough stitches. Oh, sorry, enough rounds. Just going all the way until you get to the stitch marker. So you can continue, pause the video, and come back to me when you're done. Now this is round 13 of the body. This is what you should have so far. For round 13, we're going to decrease on this round. And we're going to decrease to 14 stitches. Now each one of these lines represents a chain that I currently have. So I have 20 stitches right now and I have 20 lines. I'm going to break down this pattern per row. So what I'm going to do is two single crochets followed by a decrease and I'm going to stitch three and four together. So my lines that are straight, that means I'm going to stitch those two chains together. So let's do this first part. Two single crochets and stitch three and four together. So two single crochets and three and four together. Now take chains three and four and stitch together. Now for the next row. We're going to do two single crochets and then three decreases. So we're at chains five, two single crochets, 
and we're going to stitch 7 and 8 together, 9 and 10 together, and 11 and 12 together. So three decreases. So let's go with the first part, two single crochets. Now I'm at chain seven and eight, I'm gonna chain stitch together. Seven and eight. Now I'm at nine and ten. We're gonna stitch together. And eleven and twelve, you want to stitch together. Now the rest of the pattern will be pretty straightforward. You're going to do two single crochets followed by a decrease. One, one, and stitch the two together. So right now I'm at 13 and 14. We're going to do two single crochets. Next chain. And we're going to stitch the two together. 15 and 16. So right now you should have four chains left. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to do two single crochets and stitch the last two together. Oops. Let me just pick that up and repeat. Single crochet single crochet, sorry, single crochet, and stitch the last two together. So right now you should have 14 stitches. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. Now we're going to make the create the legs here, and the legs are just continuation of the body here. I've divided the body in half to create the legs. So each one of the legs are rounds of seven, and I have 14 stitches here. Each pile I have seven bands. So to start you off here on round one, I have seven bands. I'm going to take one away for a second and I have six left. I'm going to do six single crochets and my seventh band I'm going to attach on either side. So let's use our six bands and do six single crochets. Don't go where it's getting pulled. You just want to do six single crochets and stop. So I just did six single crochets. I'm going to go in the seventh chain from the outside towards the inside. So normally you would go like this. I'm going to go from the outside to the inside and go through the chain where the stitch marker is. And I'm going to bring my band through. Sorry, just through the two chains on the body on my hook and slide. Now to make your life easier, add a stitch marker so you can tell where you are, but you want to leave this stitch marker on. This one will help you, so if you did take that off, just add it back where the band is being pulled to that chain. This will help you to create the other leg. So now you have seven bands, or you need seven more bands for round two, and you're going to do seven single crochets all the way around. So I'm going to do round two with you. You want to make sure first where your seven chains are. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven is on your hook. So go through your first chain, not where that stitch marker is, and just add one band to each chain until you get back to your stitch marker. 
we're going to stuff after we finish creating this leg. So again, you should have seven stitches. One, two, three is hiding, four, five, six, and seven is on my hook. You can remove the second stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook, and you're just gonna continue, making sure that you're not going where it's getting pulled, and you're adding seven bands, doing seven single crochets. So I think you can continue and pause the video and come back to me when you've completed the rest of the rounds. So I'm, on, I'm at round seven now, and this is what I have so far. When we're done round seven, we're gonna add some stuffing to the body. Now for this pattern, I'm changing to white, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close it off. I'm gonna do a single crochet, followed by three invisible decreases. And that's how we're gonna tie it off. Our last band, we're going to do a slip knot to tie it closed. So I'm going to do just the first part here. I'm going to go in my first chain. Because I'm changing color, I'm going to do a slip stitch. So I'm going to bring it through all of my loops and slide. Now the next two stitches, I'm going to do a slip stitch in each and leave it on my hook. That's our invisible decrease. So a slip stitch and leave it on your hook next stitch, slip stitch, and leave it on your hook. Three loops and slide. You're going to repeat this, slip stitch in the next two chains, leave it on your hook, slip stitch, three loops, and slide. You're going to do this again, but your last band, you want to do a slip knot to tie it closed. So this one is a slip stitch. Your last chain where your stitch marker is, you're just going to bring your band right through all of those loops and tie it off. Remove this stitch marker and you can go ahead, go through your bands and go out and you want to hide your little slip knot. Now you can grab some stuffing, fill the body. You don't want to overfill this body because you're going to end up losing the shape at the end. So all you're going to do is open it up and just add some stuffing. You kind of want it flat, not too round. So I would normally um, fill my other creations a little bit more. So we're going to have like a rounded body, kind of flat. So you're going to see I don't have too much stuffing inside here. So I have a lot more in here. So I'm just going to remove some. And you can always remove at the end when you're done. Now for the next leg. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off where this C-clip is, my stitch marker, and this is going to be my first chain. Now you need seven chains, so you want to make sure count first. So I'm going to use this one as one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I'm going to skip this one that's been used already for the other leg. So I'm going to go from here straight across to the other one. And this is how I'm going to start off. I'm going to bring my first band through and I'm going to do seven single crochets so I have seven bands here. Bring it right through on your hook and slide. Go 
go to your next chain. So you just want to use up seven bands. And I'm just back where I started here, or to my next chain here, seven. So you just want to make sure that you have a nice even round of seven stitches. Now you can either remove this stitch marker now or add a new stitch marker. You're going to find your seven stitches and you're going to single crochet in each with a single band. So I'm at round two now and do seven single crochets. You can remove that stitch marker, add it to the band that's around your hook, and continue with round three. Seven single crochets. I have one too many bands in that pile. I have seven stitches. I just want to make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You can remove your stitch marker, add it to the band that's around your hook. Pause the video, continue the last three rounds, and then come back to me when you're done. Now I'm at round seven, and we're going to do the same thing that we, like we did with the other leg. We're going to do a single crochet followed by three invisible decreases. So I'm using seven bands. My single crochet, I'm going to start off with a slip stitch in my first chain. So in my first chain, bring your first band through all the loops. And now in the next two chains, do a slip stitch in each and leave it on your hook. three loops and slide and repeat slip stitch and one more your last band do a slip knot to tie it closed so the last one bring it through all the loops grab your end and slide Remove the stitch marker and we're going to hide our band and then pull some of the stuffing towards the legs. So I'm going to go through the end, just anywhere, and I'm going to grab some of the stuffing just a little bit, very carefully, and bring some of the stuffing to the tip of the leg. Make sure they're the same in size. Now we're going to attach the back legs 
and we're going to do that just like this. I'm going to do this side first, and I'm going to do both of them with you. What I'm going to do is use six bands, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Right now I'm going to do five slip stitches to five chains attaching the legs. So I'm not going to crochet because the bands kind of get hidden um, a little bit better if you're doing little slip knots or slip stitches all the way around. So what I want you to do is put the body flat, set the leg to the side, and your slip knot should be facing the bottom of your workspace. So it should be on the outside, and I kind of flattened the leg to make it a little bit easier for me to sew it on, and I want it like this. So I don't want it up here, I want it flat to your surface. Now you're gonna lift it up, so push it down, lift it up, and that's where I'm going to attach. So you wanna make sure that you're not halfway into the, back, uh, into the body, you wanna have it not kind of at the back, but where legs should be. So I'm gonna have it here. Now I'm gonna do five slip stitches, and I'm gonna start at the stitch right beside my slip knot. So I've made like five cats, so it's gonna be in the same spot. <laughs> what you're gonna do is grab the stitch on the body, right underneath here, and go through your chain right beside your slip stitch. Or your slip knot, sorry. Bring your first band through, grab the end, and slide. Now if something for any reason that you can't do this, just do a couple of slip knots around and then tuck your bands through. So you can put this flat again in case you've moved it. Pick it up, go to your next stitch over. So I went here, I'm gonna go to the next stitch over and I'm gonna grab somewhere on the body here and go to the next stitch on the leg and bring my band through all of the bands that are on my hook. I'm going to go to the next stitch on the body, next stitch on the leg, bring my band through all of the stitches, and slide. Now you can recheck. I'm going to do this two more times. I'm going to go to the next stitch on the body, somewhere underneath the next stitch of my leg. So I'm going to open it up just to make sure that I got my next stitch on the leg, bring my band through all of the loops. And now I'm going to go through the next stitch on the body. So I'm here. I'm going to go grab somewhere underneath and the next stitch on the leg. So I might have to open it up to find it. I grabbed an unwanted band there and bring my band through. Now before I tie this off, I'm just going to check just to make sure everything is flat. I'm going to open it up and what I'm going to do is put the leg straight down towards the body and where I have my row of gray it's going to line up somewhere on the body. What I'm going to do is grab a stitch on the body here and you're going to grab a stitch on the leg and secure this by doing a slip knot. Now, I do suggest hiding these after, in case you do want to remove the leg when you get on the other leg. You shouldn't have to, but you know, you never know. Now for the other leg, again, using six bands, I'm gonna do five slip stitches around and then secure it with a sixth band. So now you wanna put your leg straight onto the body. You wanna make sure that you're even when you start to sew, so you don't want one up here, one here, you want to make sure you have about the same row. So fix up the stuffing here, put it flat. And you want to make sure that it's even on the body and where you want to start. I am going to start again at the stitch right beside the slip knot. So let me just find my placement. I'm going to go about here. Grab a stitch on the body and that stitch right beside my slip knot. Bring my band through. 
And before I continue, just check. Next stitch on the body, next stitch on the other side of the slip knot, bring your band through. You want to make sure that the height is good. Next stitch, oh, I found a C clip from one of my rounds. Excuse me while I just move that. So next stitch on the body, next stitch on the leg. Check the placement. And then just continue. Before you tie it off, just make sure the legs are flat. And now for my sixth band, putting it flat, we do want it even with this side. And I'm going to grab the gray band somewhere in the center there of the leg, bring my band through and tie it off. And that should be okay. And then you can just go through the body, um, somewhere through the body, and just hide your all your little slip knots. For round one of the head, I'm going to do nine single crochets in the magic ring. So in total, I'm using ten bands. If you can do the magic ring without the loom, I do recommend doing it so that the hole at the top um, is not so big. But anyhow, it really does work if you're using the loom. So you're gonna take your first band and wrap it around the bottom peg three times. One, two, and three. Now bring nine bands through one at a time. Reaching in, bringing your first on your hook. Top loop over and bring it to the side. Continue, top two loops over. And just you just want to bring through nine bands in total. Attach your stitch marker to this band that's around your hook and remove off the loom. So that is the little hole that I was talking about, but eventually it'll just close up. But you should have nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine is on your hook. For round two, we're going to increase on each stitch around. So two, 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 two bands in each chain until you get to your stitch marker. So you're going to do nine increases. So at the end, you'll have 18 stitches. First chain with two. Back in. And the next stitch with two. Continue until you get to the stitch marker.
So you have 18 stitches and remove your stitch marker, add it to the band that's around your hook. For round three, we're going to do 18 single crochets, so adding one band to each chain, one, 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 all the way around. I have 18 bands here, 6, 12, and 18, so at the end of this round you should have 18 stitches. So you can just go ahead, going in your first chain, and just adding one band until you get to the stitch marker. Shove 18 stitches and remove your stitch marker, add it to the band that's around your hook. For round four, I'm going to do 18 single crochets and I'm going to be adding the eyes. So pick what you would like to use. I am going to use the safety eyes. So I'm using a 7.6 millimeter. You can use 4 millimeter beads, whatever you would like. You can even use just the rubber bands wrapped four times around your hook. Now since I am using this, I still am going to add my rubber band as a guiding band. So you can use any color um, as your guiding band and then you're going to end up cutting it off. So the eyes, so right now I have 18 bands here, I have 6, 12, and 18. The eyes are going to go on chain 7 and 11, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Chain 7 is one eye, 8, 9, 10, 11 is the second eye, and then you'll be ending with 7 single crochets until you get to the end. So I'm going to add one band in the first 6 chains, not where it's getting pulled. I like to add the rubber bands as a guiding band for the eyes. I can't seem to find really good placements. Now I'm at my seventh chain, adding one eye. Eight, nine, ten and 11, the second eye. So right now, after this, you should have seven, seven stitches left. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven where your stitch marker is. Just go ahead and add one band until you get to the stitch marker. So you should have 18 stitches, remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round 5, we're going to increase twice. I'm going to increase to 20 stitches. So basically on my fourth chain I'm going to do an increase and then on my fourth chain towards the end I'm going to do another increase. So just on either side. I'm going to start off with three single crochets followed by an increase, then 10 single crochets followed by an increase, and ending with three single crochets. So I'm going to go on my first three chains with one band. My fourth chain with two.
Now 10 single crochets. You should have four chains left, one, two, three, and four. And you have four sections left here. So now you wanna do your increase. And now three single crochets. You have 20 stitches, remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. Round six, we're gonna do 20 single crochets, adding one band to each chain. One, 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 all the way around. I have 20 bands here, 10 and 20. So at the end, you should have 20 stitches. Going in your first chain, one band in each. Just continue until you get to the stitch marker. have 20 stitches and remove your stitch marker. For round seven, we're gonna decrease to 18 stitches. So I'm gonna start off with three single crochets and four and five together. Then I'm gonna do five single crochets and 11 and 12 together. And then I'm gonna end with eight single crochets. So let's do the first row. Three single crochets and four and five together. One band in the first three chains. Now take chains four and five and stitch together. Now I'm going to do 5 single crochets and 11 and 12 together. So 5 bands in the next 5 chains, or 1 band in the next 5 chains. Three, four, and 5. Now you're going to take, this is chain 11 and chain 12, you're going to stitch together. Now you should have eight chains left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Add one band to each. Just be careful you're not going where you just finished off. So you should have 18 stitches, remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. Okay. 
For round eight, we're going to do 18 single crochets. So you're just adding one band to each chain. One, 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 all the way around until you get to the stitch marker. I have 18 bands here. Six, 12, and 18. So I'm going to go on the first chain, just adding one band. And the next. And I'm going to continue until I get to my stitch marker. And you should have 18 stitches and remove your stitch marker. For round nine, we're going to decrease to 15 stitches. So I'm going to do three single crochets and four and five together. Three single crochets and four and five together. I'm just going to repeat that three times. Then you'll be left with three single crochets. So you'll be left with three chains and you're just going to do three single crochets. So let's do the first row. One band in the first three chains. One, two, and three. So you're going to do three decreases on this round. So I just did three single crochets. Now four and five together. Repeat three single crochets and four and five together. Four and five together. Repeat that again. four and five together. And you're left with three single crochet, uh, sorry, three chains. Just add one band in each. So you should have 15 stitches and remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. Now before I start round 10, I'm just going to do 5 decreases. So I'm just going to decrease 5 times. So this would be 1, 2, stitching the stitches together, 3, 4, and 5. And I'll do a slip knot with the last band. So I'm just going to end here. But I'm going to add my safety eyes on now. So that probably would be a better time to add them on now. So I'm just going to secure my band here and attach the eyes. I'm going to go in towards the center of the band here. And again, I'm going to go on the center. I found that if I go on either side, it's too far, and I like the position of where those are. Adding the back. Adding the back. And I am going to break this band. I don't have scissors in front of me. So you might want to use scissors. And then again, you might not want to. So I think that's probably better if you do. Don't do what I'm doing. And you can remove the bands. 
I'm going to push these just to make it tighter. I liked the tighter look for this. Now for round 10, we're going to do the five decreases. I'm going to put this band back on my hook. And I'm going to take stitch one and two and stitch together. Three and four and stitch together. Five and six, stitch together. Seven and eight, stitch together. And nine and ten and stitch together. This one I'm going to do a slip knot, so I was just bringing it through all of the bands just to tie it off. And you can remove the stitch marker. Here's the head. Now for the ears, I'm going to do both with you, and I'm going to do this side first. So you're just going to fold this in half, and I'm going to sew four bands onto four chains. I'm going to just do a single band onto four chains here. I'm going to start at the magic ring, and I'm going to do slip stitches and just release it off my hook. So just to make sure that our placement is correct. So I fold it in half. This is your magic ring of nine. You want to bring your first band through. Like I mean, if you can crochet um, down, it's great. If not, just give it a little tug like that and then go to the next chain right down. I couldn't get the placements correct for each one, so I prefer doing it like this. So that's why I'm going to show you like this. I'm going to do a third one to the next chain right below. And I'm going to grab the chain right below. This is the one where I wasn't sure where to grab, if it was this chain or this chain, like bringing it more towards the front, but I grabbed more towards the back. You could also grab this one straight down. So like, it's not really that chain, it's kind of like that little knot. And um, maybe I'll do that one. So it's a kind of complete all the way down. I'm just going to open up the face, make sure, you can't really tell, but you want to make sure that the start of the ear looks nice and straight down. Now I'm going to grab this band first, the one at the top. This is the one where I'm going to grab first and then I'm going to crochet all the way down. So I'm going to turn it around, grab the bands and bring them through. And turn it around. Now you have four, three chains here, one, two, and three. I have four bands here, so we're going to make a fourth stitch. So I'm going to just get comfortable. No, I don't want my band twisted here. I'm working from the front towards the back, and I'm going to go in the same chain where my band is coming out of with my first band. So I have one, two, and three, one, two, and three. The fourth band, I'm going to bring it through the little knot. So I don't want to do an increase in that stitch. I'm just going to bring it on the other side of that band. So I'm going to do one, two, three, and I'm just inventing a stitch here. So I'm on that same band, but I'm right at the little knot that's hooked onto your magic ring there at the top. And single crochet. Now you're going to turn it around and we have three bands here so I'm going to do three stitches but I have four bands now so I'm going to skip the first one where my band is coming out of and I'm going to go through one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, And three. 
turn it around. I have one band here. I have three chains. What I'm going to do is not use where my band is coming out of and I'm going to stitch these two stitches together and do a slip knot to tie it closed. So I'm going to go through the one. I'm going to open up this chain and grab it. So I'm stitching them together. Bring this last band through all of the loops and tie it off. Don't hide your slip knot quite yet until you get your other ear on. Now for the other ear, I'm going to start again at the magic ring. Let's fold it in half, find the center, and you want to make sure that you're even with this ear. So I'm going to go through and do four single crochets. You could leave it on your hook because we want to start from the center down to the next one. Or if you really want to find your placement, just do the slip stitches just to make sure that you're good. So I might do that. Two, putting this even. Three, and four. I just wanna check with this side to make sure that I'm even on this side and this side and the distance is about the same from the eyes, I should move this band over. So just saying to the one, two, and three, one, two, I'm gonna move this band over. It wasn't quite even with the other side. I just wanna check again, and that should be okay. So I'm gonna start from the center and crochet down. You're going to turn around and you're going to do four single crochets. I do recommend going, if you're on this side, go from the front towards the back. You're going to do one, two, three, and one is going to be in your little knot of that band. So go from the center just because your ear will kind of curl to the other side. This one will be tricky, so take your time, bring it through. I mean, it's no big deal if you go from the back towards the front, you'll just have to fix a little bit more. Go through your chain. And find your little knot. And turn it around. Now you're gonna do three single crochets, so you're gonna skip your first chain where your band is coming out of and go to the next. I'm going front towards the back. And this last little chain is at the end. Turn it around. And you're going to close it off. You're going to skip where your band is coming out of and you're going to grab your last two chains. Again, I do recommend try your best to go from the front towards the back and go back towards the front, grab your last chain, hook on, and do a slip knot. So I'll just repeat that just in case. I'm going to go from the front towards the back, back to the front, hooking onto my chain, and it's on my hook now. Bring your band through all of the loops very slowly. You might have to twist your hook around, grab your end and tie off. Now I am going to hide those at the end, the little slip knots. Now we're going to create the nose and all I did was just take a single band and do crisscrosses. So this is one and this is two bands. And then I tied it off with two rubber bands. If you are really good, you don't need two, you can use one. So finding the front, right under the eye, I'm going to go through that hole and come out to an angle. So you want to try to really get like a crisscross and I'm going to go under the eye and right over. So first I'm going to go from here to here. I 
it might take you a few tries. Um, I do apologize, so don't tie your bands too tight because we're all maybe using different eyes. Bring it through and now through the other, underneath the eye, and you're just going right across. Grab a band and tie it off. I'm not going to fool around with it too much. I'm just trying to hide that gray band a little bit better. And then you can add some stuffing. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Add some stuffing. You don't need too much. You're gonna get the shape, don't overstuff this because you really wanna get that shape of the head um, by pushing it down. And stick out the nose. And you could add any other features that you would like, some bows, some eyelashes, you could add some whiskers. I can't do the whiskers. Um, I prefer them with, without, so that's up to you. Um, just little slip knots and then cut the bands. So this is the head and now we're gonna sew it on. Now we're gonna attach the head to the body. This one's a little tricky, but you could also do um, a couple of slip knots around just to secure it. You could have it on an angle, you could have it face down, wherever you would like to go. Mine just kind of naturally turned. So that's how I'm gonna do it. I am gonna do 10 slip stitches around. Um, again, my, you know, just do your little slip knots to attach. What I'm gonna do first is just find my first placement of where I wanna go. And then I'm gonna tell you what needs to be done after. So I'm just going to go through the center of the body and come out. So I just went through the center here at the top, through the stitches, and I'm going to find my first stitch, which is just going to be in the center of the face here, and then it will just kind of naturally turn. So I'm just going to do this first stitch, and then I'm going to tell you what you have to be aware of. Bring your band through, grab your end, and slide. Now when you're sewing it around, the hole is pretty tight. So if you kind of follow um, the holes on the head here, you're gonna have like a really skinny neck when you're done. So you wanna kind of just keep opening it up. So basically, you're stretching these holes to a little bit further than grabbing bands on the body directly underneath the head. So let me grab the second stitch on the body. You're gonna go right beside. You're gonna grab the next stitch on the head, not the stuffing. So I'm not directly underneath the head, is what I'm trying to say. You're gonna do a slip stitch through all the loops, and then you're gonna to have to keep on checking just to make sure you're not getting a really skinny neck. The neck, so I'm a little bit further away from the head, so I'm bringing the head towards the stitch that I'm choosing to create on the body. And through all the loops, Put the head down, kind of creating a stitch. Not too wide, because you don't want too big of a neck. So you're just gonna check every one of your stitches to make sure that the placement is good. And you're gonna have to look, and you might have to fix up the face a little bit to make sure that it's falling um, in a good position. 
So you want to go to the next stitch over. So I'm going to go over here. Again, check. Because you don't want the head like straight down. So you want to make sure that it's kind of going up. So I'm bringing this stitch a little bit further back. And again, check. See, I want to bring this one of these stitches um, back a little bit more so the head goes up a little bit. So I'm just going to take apart this last stitch and this one. And I'm going to bring it back a little bit more. So I found the head was going down a little bit too much. Next, And this is the last, so I'm just going to take the band and bring it through all of the loops and just tie it tighter. And you're just going to fix it up by squishing the eyes down. You want to hide that band somewhere in the neck. You could, uh, I'm going to show you how to hide these little slip knots. But I just made a little collar, single chain, um, with a bell at the end of it, whatever you would like to do. And I'm going to go through the head here, and I'm going to go through these stitches right on the ear, and I'm going to come out and just bring the band through. So I went from the back towards the front and the ear will curl. So I'm just going to go through some of these stitches. Try to come out near the slip knot and bring it through. Again, you could hide that band. So I almost forgot to show you how to actually do the tail. So it's up to you on which colors you would like to use. I'm going to be making mine exactly like this one because I don't have very much white left. So the last round that I'll be using white. So at any point in time, you can change um, the colors. We're going to sew this on directly onto the body or create this directly onto the body. I'm just going to remove the collar so the bell's not too loud. Now you're going to find your magic circle, which is right here, the pretty little circle. Don't start there. You want to go up above, up a bit, because otherwise the tail is going to be straight out. So you can see here's the magic circle, and I just kind of went up. Now you're going to use six bands and do six single crochets around. So you're just going to grab some of the stitches. I'm going to start right off to the side. So here's the center. And I'm just going to grab the stitches and just single crochet right around. So the head is facing me. And I'm just going to go below the stitch right below and do another single crochet. So I'm just going in a circle. I'm going to go beside that, and I'm going to go, you're going to have to look, I'm going to go one more beside that, 
So that was three at the bottom. I have one at the top, three right below. Now I'm going to grab the stitch above, so turning it around and going right above. And then right beside. So I've kind of finished right beside where I started. So just to review, I started at the top here off to the side, three stitches below, and then two stitches above. And I'm right beside where I, and I started. And I'm gonna attach my stitch marker to this band that's around my hook. So now to continue the tail, you're going to do rounds two, three, four, five, and six, and you're gonna do six single crochets, so adding one band to each chain, one, 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 and one. So each pile has six bands. Round seven is where you're gonna close it off. So at any point in time, you can change to the white color or your contrast color. So I'm going to just move round seven out of the way because that's when we're gonna close it off. Just wanted to show you how many rounds. So now we're going to just take one band and go in each chain. So I'm just gonna do the first three rounds with you and then you're gonna pause the video. So just in each chain. You can remove the stitch marker um, and then add it to the band that's around your hook when you get there. I'm not gonna be using the stitch marker because it's so tiny and I have my bands organized. You can remove, you could add it to the band that's around your hook and continue. You want to make sure that you don't go in the chain where your band is coming out of, go in your first chain and then just continue around and just going straight up and then you'll come back to me and we'll do round seven together to close it off and I'm just going to do it a little bit different. So we have more of a pointy tail at the top. So you can pause the video, complete the next three rounds, and come back to me when you're done. So this is what you should have when you've completed rounds two to round six, and now we're gonna do round seven. I'm gonna use six bands and do slip stitches on each chain and leave it on my hook. I'm gonna leave every one of these on my hook and then I'm gonna tie it off with a single band. So that would be the seventh band. So I'm going to change color first. So what I'm gonna do is just bring it right through just to do a slip stitch and leave it on my hook like that. Just slide and you're gonna to go to the next stitch, slip stitch and leave it on your hook. You're gonna do that to each chain and leave it on your hook. slide. It's going to get a little bit difficult when you get to the last um, two stitches, so just take your time. Slip stitch, the next chain, slip stitch. So right now I have five loops on my hook. just want to show you. And the last chain, slip stitch, so I have six loops and you're going to take a single band and bring it through all of those loops and tie it off. And then you can go ahead and just go in the tail, come out beside the slip knot and bring it in and hide it. And then if you have the collar, place the collar on. And next I'm gonna show you how to make the little ball. To make the little ball, I'm gonna do six single crochets in the magic ring. So I'm gonna grab my first band and wrap it around the peg three times. One, two, and three. And just pull six bands through one at a time. 
I'm at this point um, thinking you can do the magic ring. So you're just bringing your bands through. Two loops over. Make sure you're bringing it to the side. You just get a nicer circle, less gaps. And after, attach your stitch marker and remove off the loom. You should have six stitches. Move your bands around. Right now I have rounds two and three here. For round two, I'm going to increase on each stitch around. So two, 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 and two adding two bands one at a time to each chain. So you're gonna to increase to 12 stitches. For round three, you're gonna take 12 bands and do a single crochet in each. So you'll end up with 12 stitches. So I'm gonna do round two with you here. I'm gonna go in my first chain and just bring two bands through. Back in. The second chain, you wanna do your increase again. all the way until you get to the stitch marker. And the last stitch. You can remove your stitch marker, add to the band that's around your hook. And for round three, you're just doing 12 single crochets. So just one band in each chain until you get to your stitch marker. So I think you can pause the video, continue until you get to the stitch marker, and come back to me when you're done. Around four, we're gonna do six invisible decreases. So I have six bands here, and I'm gonna add an extra band to each, so a total of 12 bands. And I'm gonna do the invisible decrease. So I'm going to go in my first two chains here and do a slip stitch in each, leaving the bands on my hook. So let's go in our first chain, not where it's getting pulled, bring one band through, and do a slip stitch. Chain two, you're gonna repeat with a slip stitch and you'll have three loops and then you're gonna slide. You're gonna do this all the way around until you get to your stitch marker. Slip stitch, slip stitch, three loops and then slide. And now you can just continue. So now you should have six stitches. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round five, I'm gonna do three invisible decreases. If you wanna add some stuffing, you could do that now. I kinda of preferred it without the stuffing. So this was with stuffing and this was without. So I am not gonna be adding any, but if you want to, you could add it now. I'm going to do three invisible decreases, and my last band, I'm going to do a slip knot to tie it closed. So I'm going to go in my first chain and just repeating with a slip stitch, 
leave it on the hook, neck stitch, slip stitch, and three loops inside. Again, and slide. And one more time. Last band, bring it through all the loops. You can remove your stitch marker. And then just move the ball around. And I'm not gonna hide my little slip knot. I'm just gonna leave it like that. You can just fix it up, squeezing it together, and the ball's done. <laughs> I'm gonna review how I made the collar. And I'm just, all I did was just thread a single band through a small little bell, or you could even use a bead if you'd like. I'm gonna do a chain of five on one side and a chain of five on the other side, and then tie it off with a single band. So just put, I just put the band through the bell and now very carefully, you want to make sure that the, um, the band doesn't come off. Like, I mean, you could even attach this one to the side and I'm just making a chain on one side. So kind of like secure this, you could do it with your fingers, but um, for those who can't, so the band doesn't come off the bell, which is really easy to do. And it's just making a chain of five on one side. Now you need to make a chain of five on the other side, so I am going to keep this on my hook and just using this band and creating a chain. And then tie it off. That was one. And five. So this is what it ends up looking like. And then just secure it with a single band. And tie it off. And then just grab your kitty and put it on. <laughs> it's done. I do hope you enjoyed Looming with Cheryl. Please subscribe down below and I'll see you next time with another. Bye for now.